well hello there and welcome to another training nugget in this video i'll be showing you on how to set up the public folder in zamp so let's get started well the first thing you'll want to do is to make sure that you have installed zamp in your computer if you don't know how to do that just look at some of the videos i've done in the past around how to install zamp and you get on track to navigate into the public folders setting up the public folder will require you first to launch the zamp instance i'll click on my windows key and search on the zamp area it is the control panel so i'll click on zamp control panel to launch and make sure that i activate the zamp apache option in the mysql i'll click start and start the apache Once all of them have started, the index folder is the default folder where when you navigate into the local host, you access the files. So I just opened the location where I have already installed my ZAMP control panel just to show you the breakdown of the folders in there. I'll click on the folder option. I have installed that in my PC local disk C on www. There are number of files which include Apache and of course the PHP my admin and many other Tomcat etc etc. The public file is usually located in the HT documents area. If I double click to open anything that appears on the HT docs file will appear on the public files in your local host. If I launch my browser and open local host at the very top section, I'll navigate it to this index file for the local host dashboard. You can tell it's local host dashboard area. So coming in here, the local host dashboard has been called upon by the index.php file which is already in existence. I will decide to right click on the file and edit with notepad so that you can see what are the details of this index file. It has been scripted in PHP and you can tell that the end URL is on the dashboard area and the dashboard if I navigate into the folder is incorporated into the dashboard file and inside there we have all the files that represent the dashboard php info being one of them and you can get it at the top menu navigation area oftenly when you want to set these public files i will recommend that you set up specific files that carry different size and distros that you'll want to use in your public area. Now in this public area, if I navigate back into the HT docs, I can create a new folder and call it test2. I already have a test1, so I'll have a test2 in there, test2, and if we navigate into the localhost forward slash test2, I'll be prompted by the location which is empty. We will do a very simple HTML file and drop it into the test2 public file and see what happens. I will launch my notepad plus plus and create a new page and in the language section I will select HTML. Definitely, if you've been using HTML, you realize that HTML requires you to do the HTML tag and then requires you to do the title tag. It also requires you to do a um, head tag so that you can input other items in. For the title, I do test2. I'll close the tag by having it as um, uh, uh, title. 
I know the head section, a lot of these as this is the head. And I'll need to close that head, head tag. All the other content that is tagged inside the body section, I will put that into the body area. Now in the body area, I'll type this is a test page. And then I'll just close the body. Let me close it under here. I can have the paragraph tag depending on how like that page should look like uh, so that we do not have conflicts whenever we are launching our HTML segment. Now, once we're done with this, this is the test page area. I'll click on the file menu and I will save it as index. Dot HTML, and I'm saving it into the HT Docs area on my ZAMP distro, navigating into the test two, which happens to be my public folder, index.html as the initial index or the public file that is usually used whenever you're launching your distro. I'll save that into that location. Remember, I still have this open so I can manipulate it further. I'll go back into my browser and log in into localhost test2 file and voila, my file which I had created as index.html will show up in the first instance and of course showcase what I had written in the body. You may want to set up other customized options within this text area. For example, I can have a bold option in there and then close the bold option. But now since I only have one, I'll just do the bold option and save that. It means the bold option has been recruited into this is the and that is where we have the bold area. The public folder is generally where all the files you'd want the public to see will be hosted in your server. And not only in your server there, I can create a number of different files and just to maneuver a little bit off from the primary public file that has been sent by the ZAMP installation. So I have test two and I have test as the default public files I can use in here. So if I navigate into my localhost forward slash test and press on enter, I had already installed a WordPress distro and it will take me directly into a WordPress installation that I had done earlier. I can click on some of the menu. This is more of a website and I can see what is happening. So whenever you're setting up your index file in the public directory, you'll navigate into your installation directory and choose the HT docs and of course set up your public file in here to make it easy for the public to access. Well, thanks for following along. That is how we set up the public folder in ZAMP. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next night.